Bible said the just shall live by their faith, not by chance. So you know you face the next day. You know you face the next day. You can get up in the morning and make an audacious statement and say, no mortal man can kill me except it's the will of God, of God that I should go now. Can you talk like that? Because we are still afraid of everything. Ah, whether natural go die. No, except it's God's will that you die now. You know that if you die, it's not one demon because you know that the power you have, you cannot, you are unkillable and you're undiable. We must get to that place of knowing, of revelation. I was reading Papos to Peter. I was amazed the statement Apostle Peter was making. The man knew when he would die. He said, the Lord has told me that I will go soon. So I'm trying to remind you these things. Aye. You see, they, those, those guys, they didn't die because they killed them. Though the end was like they killed them, but they knew. So God will tell you that's so they. Then they come and catch you and they go and kill you. You think that they killed you? Or now do you think that Jesus was killed? Now, talk between me and you, Jesus was killed? They hung Jesus. He said, Lord, I come. He's the one that gave. That's why he, they, he did the time Jesus died was so fast that normally he would have stayed longer on the cross. It was when he gave up the ghost that he went. It was not when they could, you can't kill God. So all that was a mirage just to fulfill righteousness and to shed that blood for the redemption of mankind. Can you kill God? You can't kill God. It was a public spectacle in order to gain power to give it to us. And he succeeded in that assignment and today he returned back and said, oh power, I have taken it by death of that sacrifice of alignment and I've come to give it back to you. So you can go back now and win others. That's why I say you are a creature of power. You have authority. If it is as touching the earth, God has given us authority. 